Now, this record that I'm speaking to you on now, I made myself. It's absolutely true. I did. I made it myself. Nights and nights of hard, diligent work. I got the machine from a supermarket in kit form, and it cost me 39 and sixpence. And apart from one or two small faults, but the average person wouldn't really notice. It really is an excellent machine. Frequent response is mild. And anything you record on it, it comes out absolutely lifelike. So why pay 120 guineas for a machine that you can get for 36 pence? Why indeed? Anyway, I'm not going to keep this great secret to myself. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you what you need to make this marvelous recorder. And how to help out. You need 200 screws, a whacking great fuse, miscellaneous wheels, and a couple of reels. A furlong of wire, a bit of old tire, 400 volts, and 240 volts. Transistors, condensers, transformers, and knobs. A smooth running motor, centrifugal rotor, capstan, a roller, a bracket to mount a revolutionary counter. And just for a jape, you'll need some good tape. Right, now you've got all the bits, all the pieces, everything you need. All you've got to do now is put it together. You screw down the motor and dodge all the rods, combine the condensers with vertical sensors. Transistors are gutted and bolted and nutted, all covered in wire and bits of old tire. A couple of wheels, transformers and reels, and I'm the best part to bring up a flutter. Solder in blobs and smack on the knobs, compilate base on the lateral face. Frugal eight wire on the fast but bow, set playback response to pedicle sconce. Add sugar to taste and a bit of fish paste, a few drops of oil and bring to the boil. Put in the fuse and turn on the juice. 